drink from me and live forever. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Anthwood Movie Mania and it is a 30th anniversary edition video of Interview with the Vampire Yes, you are not being deceived Please adjust your eyes because this film is 30 years old so that's why we are doing a 30th anniversary edition All I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the plot of the film and I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on it So the film starring Tom Cruise as Lestat Brad Pitt is Louis de Pontelac, Kirsten Dunst is Claudia, um, got Christian Slater as the reporter, and Antonio Banderas as Armand, a vampire cult leader. So the film starts off with Louis de Pontelac in New Orleans, and he has just lost his wife and his daughter to a plague or the illness that is going around at the time. And with the unbearable heat of New Orleans, he is feeling devastated and he can't bear the thought of not having his wife and kid with him. So he is on the brink of trying to kill himself, drinking him to death, drinking himself senseless every night, getting with loads of prostitutes, can't catch all their diseases off them. And he wants to... Louis wants to die and lurking in the shadows on the night time is Lestat played by Tom Cruise. He can sense Louis's pain and he is drawn to it and Lestat is looking for a companion to travel the world with and he, he senses the death on Louis he, and Louis welcoming that sense of wanting to die so Lestat is feeding on that. And when they come to meet, Lestat bites into him and he says, do you want to die? Have you tasted enough? And he's like, yes, please, he's practically saying, please kill me. So he ends up biting him and then Louis falls into the New Orleans, Mississippi. Then the next day, he makes his way back to his home. Everyone thinks that he is dying from a serious illness but what we know is that he's dying because Lestat has pretty much drained most of the blood out of him. Then when he comes into his house Lestat kills him. He, take, he kills him, he takes him to the cemetery and he makes him feed. He goes drink from me and live forever and he makes Louis feed off him. And then that ensues them two going through the centuries together, or through the decades should I say, together, um, until they come across Claudia, but through that time Louis can't bring himself to kill another human, and he ends up feeding off rats, Lestat tells him it's a good little trick for long ship travels, if you've run out of crew members to it you can survive on rats. So Louis uses this method, instead of killing humans, he just kills rats. Then we come across, come across Claudia, played by Kirsten Dunst. She is a child that is pretty much on the brink of death herself due to the plague. And Louis sees Claudia and he feels like a resemblance to his own little daughter. So he's like, right, I need a Turner, but Lestat is completely against it because he wants Louis all to himself. But Louis pleads his case and they end up turning Claudia into a vampire. Then that ensues them going through more centuries together. But Claudia realises that she's never going to grow old enough. She's never going to grow up to be a mature woman. And she's had enough and so is Lestat. And... Them two come to blows, they ended up, Lou, she persuades Lou to try and kill Lestat and they pretty much burn him alive, chuck him into the swamp for the crocodiles to feed on him. Then we meet Armand with Antonio Banderas and he has a group following in Paris 
of a cult vampire group and they've been searching through the centuries to try and find more vampires like them and when they come to find them they find out that Louis made Claudia and that is a sin for making kids and they find out that they killed Lestat well they tried to kill Lestat and that is a big no no in the vampire community that is one of the rules you do not kill another vampire but unfortunately they take it upon themselves if you kill a vampire then they must be killed so they ended up killing Claudia and the woman who she tried to befriend but Armand saves Louis because he has fallen in love with him he thinks there's something special there but then we have Christine Slater who Brad Pitt is telling this full story to is enthralled in it all and then they escape Brad Pitt, Louis tells Armand to leave him alone. Then we follow right through the centuries up till the end where Christian Slater is like, I want to see what you've seen, that you need a companion. And he, Louis thinks he's failed. But and then he, vanish, he vanishes, so Christian Slater is out of there. And then we see Tom Cruise, Lestat, by a Christian Slater saying, I'm going to give you a choice I never had and then it finishes which is a great tagline for the film but that is pretty much the premise of the film you can see it on in the background I've just give you a quick summary of what the full film is now I'm going to give you my thoughts on the film that was just a quick summary this film if it came out today would stand the test of time because it is that good of a film it's played nice and slowly right through all the centuries the star power that this had when it first came out I don't think people would realize how much star power it had you had Brad Pitt Tom Cruise Kirsten Dunst Antonio Banderas and Christian Slater who all five people are going still strong today Um, but yeah this is just a great film no matter what year it came out in 94, like I said, this is a 30th anniversary edition, so 30 years is a long time. But when you watch it back, you will realise how good this film is. And if it came out today, it would stand the test, it would stand on its own. With the star power that it had, and the writing, and everything in it. They have just made two seasons, they've just re-brought this out on the telly. Interview with the vampire, um, they've given it like a reimagining. The first season was all about New Orleans, and then the second is all about Paris. So I'm assuming there will be a third one with more things coming. I hope. I hope it. I hope it doesn't get cancelled, but I hope it. Do, I hope it comes back out. But it just shows that what well, even reimagined the story, the Anne Rice novel, Interview with the Vampire, which I think I've got somewhere buried in there. It is a really good story and this was a 30th anniversary edition so there we have it that's my 30th anniversary edition expect more 30th anniversary editions to come out soon as always i'm antwood movie mania please leave your likes your comments please subscribe and i will see you in the next one see you later